Next on stage is Yoon Strikers. Yoon is business development manager at Social Karma, and they've developed a new tool called Profiler, which is a profiling tool using Facebook data. So please tell us all about Profiler. Thank you very much. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Today I will present you the future of market research by using data from social media. So. We are able to analyze your customer, potential customers, or whatever group that you want to uh, analyze using our tool in less than one hour. So we use social media data intelligence. What does that mean? So we use data from Facebook. Why Facebook? Simply because there are 1.6 billion monthly active users online worldwide. So um, Facebook collects all the data of all the people that are on Facebook. And they do it from three sources. First one being declarative information. When you log into Facebook, you have to put in your gender, your age. This is all stored in the database of Facebook. The second source is Facebook activity. All the likes, comment, shares, clicking on ads is also saved in the Facebook database. And then you have all the activity outside Facebook. All the things, all the websites that you visit after Facebook are also saved in the Facebook database. And why do they do that? Because they want to do targeting uh, possibilities for brands and agencies. And they make an interest by looking at a combination of likes, comments, shares, and all the activity that they do outside of Facebook, and they create, okay, this person has an interest, for example, for basketball. And we thought about it, and we said, what if we could use Facebook as a market research tool and audience profiling tool? And that is why we came up with Profiler. We can make from a group of people that have no connection with each other on first sight, create a good persona. And these are data insights, which allows you to make data-driven decisions on global brand strategy, content marketing, media planning, product offers, partnerships, and many more. So what type of information will you get? We have over 3,500 questions that you can ask to the database. And you can even add any question that you have left and add it to your tree of questions or criteria that you want to investigate. So you can see here the ocean of data of Facebook, completely wandering around, all criteria, all kind of things wandering around. What did we do to make a market research tool? We have to categorize everything. So we categorize it in three different categories. Demographics, simply how old they are, the gender, and so on. Then you have mobile device uh, behaviors, so what kind of mobile do they use? Um, are they frequent travelers? And so on and so on. And then you have our biggest category, interest. What kind of music do they like? What brands have, do they have a strong affinity with? What kind of media do they use? Who are the famous people they look up to? What kind of sports do they like? All that information is stored in interest. So you can see that's a big database. But how does it work exactly? And how do you, you define an audience group or the target group that you want to investigate or analyze or profile. So there are three possibilities. First one being a company gives us a database and we can match 50 to 80% of their emails or phone numbers to a Facebook account. So that is one way to analyze and define a target audience. Second thing is you can, pix uh, you can put a pixel on your website, Facebook's gives you a free option to put a pixel on your website or any page, and it will store the traffic that comes on your, face, on your website, and we will be able to analyze that group. Then you have also, if you just want to start with all the people between 18 and 25 that are living in Flanders and they have an interest for BMW, you can also analyze that group, or you can just simply analyze all the people that liked your page for the bigger brands, of course. And then you have the option to even further filter one of these target audiences by saying, I only want the people that also show an interest for photography and that like to sport um, now and then. Now, we defined our target audience. What is the next thing we do? We can get a market research. So for example, we can say 60% of your uh, clients or, for the, or your target audience 
like to ski. 70% likes to read the standard, 40% likes to listen to Studio Brussels, okay? Fine and well, but you have to compare it to a reference audience. And that reference audience is, for example, the Belgian population, and this way you will always see, compared to the Belgian population, if you're under or over-representing. So these are some companies that we already work with, but I don't see IBM, AXA, or any other company still on the list, so maybe after this meeting we can discuss this further for the following project. Thank you very much.